Good news, my friends. President Biden has announced a new strategy to address the rising inflation in the United States. Multiple new crisis relief bills have been put forward on the negotiating table in Congress. Democrats and Republicans are now negotiating on the Ford stimulus package. So, my good friends, please make sure to watch until the end of this video and do share this video with your friends and family if they need more reliable stimulus news. And if you're interested in entering this coming Friday $75 Walmart gift card giveaway, when I'll be giving away three $75 Walmart gift cards, Please listen for the key word from this video. Democrats promised in 2020 to fix Donald Trump's utter mismanagement of the COVID crisis and get our country back on track. And a year later, after securing the strongest growth rate in, de in decades, Democrats are delivering on that promise. After Congress passed the American Rescue Plan, I said, help is on the way. And that help is getting America back on a path to normal. And though we still are learning to live with the virus, our economy, our communities, and our schools are better off because of vaccines, because of testing, and because of targeted legislation we passed last year, like the Restaurants Act and Save Our Stages. And I want to stress an important point that is forgotten too often. We are finally seeing wages go up at a significant rate. That's dollars in the working people's pockets. For decades, economists have decried the lack of wage growth in America. It's been reported that from, 2020, from 2000 to 2020, if you were in the bottom 75% of Americans, the majority. All right, friends. So today, President Biden touted his administration's achievements in improving the U.S. economy, but greatly failed to address key developments that are still biting into the pocketbooks of millions of Americans. In a Twitter post, President Biden said, our economic strategy has worked and it's still working. During a recent press conference, Biden claimed that 6.7 million jobs were created last year. Unemployment is down nearly 4%. The economy has grown 5.7% and the deficit was reduced last year by $360 billion. Well, my friends, the Labor Department recently released a report earlier this year showing that consumer inflation, which is propelled by surging costs for gas, food, and housing, jumped over 8% over the year, which is the sharpest spike since 1982. Housing costs, which make up about a third of the government's consumer price index, have risen sharply as well. Meanwhile, the national average price for a gallon of regular gasoline reached $4.33. Even though the price dipped slightly over the weekend, signs of longer-term relief are very, very hard to find. Drivers were paying $2.88 a gallon on average last year. But according to the Biden administration, the federal government will be implementing new changes to address the rising inflation. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell announced this week that the Federal Reserve would raise its benchmark short-term interest rate faster than expected and high enough to restrain growth and hiring to fight inflation. Now, friends, I know that many of you are wondering how raising interest rates will affect the American people. Well, the Federal Reserve sets the interest rates that banks charge each other for overnight loans to meet reserve requirements. The Fed this week raised the rate one quarter of 1% and signaled that it expects to lift rates as many as six times more this year. The Fed's key interest rates have been a powerful tool in setting monetary policy. Lowering the rate revs up the economy by making it cheaper to borrow money while raising the interest rates puts on the brakes. So my friends, do you agree on raising interest rates? Please let me know if you agree or disagree in the comment section below. Friends, the key word for this video is Lake Michigan. Please enter this keyword in the comment section below if you would like to enter this coming Friday $75 Walmart gift card giveaway. Also, make sure that you click and like my videos and do verify that you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends.
President Biden has also urged Congress to pass an extension of the 2021 Enhanced Child Tax Credit during his recent press conference, along with other proposals aimed at reducing the cost of child care for millions of American families. Biden told Democratic and Republican lawmakers, raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour and extend the child tax credit so no one has to raise a family in poverty. Biden has also called on Congress to pass paid leave and to cut the cost of childcare so that no working or middle-class family spends more than 7% of their income on that. President Biden stated, my plan will cut the cost in half for most families and help parents, including millions of women who left the workforce during the crisis because they could not afford childcare to be able to get back to work. While the child tax credit has been around for many years, the amount was increased in 2021 as part of the American Rescue Plan. It went from annual payments of $2,000 for most children to $3,000 up to $3,600, depending on the age of the child. Parents also had the option to take that monthly payment as advance on the taxes that they are now filing. It also made the credit fully refundable which meant that even parents with low or no incomes at all could benefit. The aim was to cut childhood poverty so that parents could have the money that they needed during the year and pay for things like food, clothing, and childcare. The Center on Budget and Policy Priorities said that 88% of low-income households receiving the monthly payments were using it on food, clothing, rent, mortgage, and utilities. It was 91% of education costs were included. So my good friends, please let me know in the comment section below if you support the extension of the expanded monthly child tax credit payments. Friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you very, very much for joining me here today. I greatly appreciate all of you who are watching my videos daily. Remember, good friends, if you would like to enter this coming Friday's Walmart gift card giveaway, when I'll be giving away three $75 Walmart gift cards, please make sure that you click and like my videos. Comment below the keyword from each video that you watch and do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you very much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Tuesday.